Today we talk about the keys to an infield outfield routine. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Tanelli here. Um, I got a couple questions lately about our infield outfield routine before games. Uh, we like to to run one at the beginning of every practice, and so um, I actually filmed um, our routine today. A um, couple things about it. One, um, some of our guys are just kind of taking it easy with their arms. We just played a couple games in a row. And um, a couple guys were a little bit sore. So some of the throws are probably only 60, 70% or so. Um, but what I want to do is is kind of go through here, kind of show you our routine, what we do, um, and then just talk about some keys to not only infield, outfield, but also just, you know, some of the cutoffs. Um, we'll just kind of go through some of the mechanics of things and um, just run through it here. I have not seen this yet. Um, it's also good for me to kind of see what we look like from, you know, a perspective back here where I don't always get it because I'm, you know, right there hitting it. So I'm going to play it through and we'll just kind of talk about it. So we always start off in left field. Um, like to get the guys moving to their right first. Anytime we're throwing the ball um, to the bases, we're throwing it through the cut, so we're not throwing it to the cut. We'll never have a cut or relay in infield outfield unless the ball is offline or needs to be redirected to a new base. We should be throwing it through the through the cutoff, man, either to the base in the air or we're trying to get a long hop to our fielder. So, um, you know, you'll see some balls thrown in here that are short hops that we're not intending to do that. We're trying to either throw it all the way through or we're trying to throw a long hop like that right there. So I go two to each left fielder. We have two guys at each position. We have three center fielders. So I'll go two to left field um, to each guy. And then I go to center field. I go one ball in the left center field gap to each one and then one ball in the right center field gap to each one. And again, we're just trying to get to it quickly and throw either a long hop or a ball all the way through. While that's going on, first baseman will work on some pick plays since they're not involved for a while. After center field, we'll go to right field. I'll hit a ball down the right field line. Then I'll hit a ball to left center. One of our outfielders was um, taking off infield outfield today because he had a sore arm. So we only have one guy out there. Then we go back to our left fielders. We go to third base. So there's a ball that should have been a long hop. It was a short hop, and we missed the pick. Same thing there, another short hop. So we didn't do a good job. I can kind of get a feel for it. I'm not always watching the ball all the way through, but I can kind of get a feel when we're not, you know, throwing the ball the way we need to be. So, again, we're looking for a long hop, or we're looking for it to be all the way in the air. There's another short hop. So there's three, probably three short hops out of four throws, which isn't good. Now we go to center field. Again, there was a nice long hop. Every ball I hit in infield, outfield is on the ground. Um, the last round when we come home, I hit a ball. I uh, hit balls in the air. Before games, I'll, I'll almost always just hit the ball on the ground. I just want to get... Um, you know, although I can control the fungo pretty good, I hate when, you know, before the game when all of a sudden guys are, coaches are trying to hit fly balls and they're hitting it all over the place and guys are chasing balls all over the place. I want to be able to do it quickly and efficiently and I want to be able to put the ball where I, where I need to. And then our guys will go out and get fly balls after they're done with this portion. Man, there's a good long hop. So, again, there's a guy just kind of taking it a little bit easy. He also pitches for us a little bit, so he threw last game. So, And then we come in after we get all of our guys throwing two balls to second and two balls to third. Now I'll come in, and we'll go home. And so we're going to have the third base be the cutoff here. And, again, he's not the cutoff. He's not a relay man, sorry. He's only going to cut this ball if it is offline. 
or if it's not going to reach home and we're going to redirect it to a different base. Other than that, they're just working on faking a cut. So the other ball that's offline that we should have done a better job of being able to get over there, moving our feet and just cutting the ball. And here's a ball. I hit that ball really deep to left field. We have no play at home, so we cut it, redirect it to second. Again, here's a ball that clearly isn't going to reach. We just cut it, redirect the second. So we usually almost never do that. It's actually a new first baseman right there. It's usually our DH, so. So especially today where guys really aren't throwing 100%, um, there's a lot more cutoffs here that we cut to go to second base. If the ball's not going to reach, if we don't have a chance at home, we're going to cut it, redirect the ball to second. And so we just move our way around the outfield again, two to each guy. And now here we're going to, we we'll redirect that ball, get around the infield, uh, shoot it in there. And now we're just going to throw the ball around the infield a couple times. And then we're going to start off with infield in. And we always start off with a tag play to the plate. Sometimes we'll go... Uh, double play, we'll go home to first, but today we're going tag plays to the plate. It felt like we we're a little bit sloppy today, Nio. I can't, you know, it's good to be able to kind of see this sometimes. We can't see our first base from throwing the ball here. There we go, cameraman is on top of things now. All right, so after we do place the plate, we're going to go um, ground balls and go to one. Missed it there, and I, <laughs> I could have been nice and given him another one, but a oh, line drive there. So we're going to work our way all the way around the infield. Now we'll go to first base. We never, every play that I hit the first and in infield outfield is a double play. So we hold the runner on, we get off the bag, and we turn two. Um, eventually we will play behind the runner. But I never have any plays where we throw the ball to third or um, I never have any balls that we, you know, flip to first. After we go around the infield with everyone, then we go one and cover. So I'll hit the ball there. Get the ball from the catcher as the first baseman throws the ball in. Oh, looks like we made a bad throw. So the ball comes into the catcher to the catcher. He throws down. Once the ball is caught, I hit the next ball to the next guy. We're just gonna keep working our way around. And then after we do that, I go back to turning a double play with the first baseman. Here I hit it close to the back. He'll tag, get her all the way around. Usually I try to not hit the ball that close to the bag. Now we go back here. And we'll work on two. Pretty much right after... 
the guy at the second baseman throws the ball. I'm trying to hit another one. So I'm trying to keep the tempo up and the pace up. The first double play ball I hit is always an underhand feed. So I'll hit it either right at them or slightly towards the bag so we can work on an underhand feed. Then we go to first baseman again, holding the runner on, the ball up. We always work on getting back to the bag as first baseman, so I never have the backup guy take the ball for him, and we don't put pitchers on the mound for I.O. Um, I always have them try to get back to the bag. Now we're going to go a two and cover. Typically before games, we won't do a two and cover, but catchers sometimes in practice will ask for another throw, and so I'll just give it to them, so we'll go a two and a cover. Now my second time of hitting, I'm going to hit the ball slightly to the right of the infielder or slightly to the right of the shortstop, slightly to the left of the second baseman so that they can give a feed. So that way everyone will get two double plays. Each guy will get two double plays. We'll get um, an underhand feed and then a pivot right there. So I'm going to hit these just to the left of the second baseman so that they can pivot and give the feed. I try to keep everything, again, I I don't want the guys running all over the place. I'm trying to get them, you know, get them their work, give them a couple of different balls. But, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get them loose. I'm trying to instill a little bit of confidence in them and make them feel good. I don't want them, I don't want to hit rockets at them, and I'm not trying to make them move all over the place. Um, then after that, we'll go a couple bunts, and we'll go two. And then typically we go a long one, but to, again, today a lot of guys' arms were sore, so they asked me if we could skip the long one and just go to some short ones. But typically we'll go a long one, not typically, always, we'll go a long one where they'll play deep and they'll throw across. And then after we get that with all of them, then we'll go to the short one. So we're just hitting a little short one. For the first baseman, I hit a little chopper and they come in. These are the only ones that they'll field and throw the ball across the diamond a third. And then that is it right there. So it takes us um, 10 minutes, usually 10 minutes right on the dot um, in a game. I set my watch at 10 minutes. And once we break the huddle and sprint onto the field, you know, I set it. And the second that buzzer goes off, we're pretty good at it. We've, you know, obviously been doing it for a while. So, Typically, that buzzer goes off almost every time as I'm basically hitting to the last guy or maybe the second to last guy. And every now and then we'll finish just before 10 minutes. You know, for me, an infield outfield longer than 10 minutes is, um, I don't know, I just don't think it's it's needed, um, especially before a game. And just to be considered to the other team that we don't sit out there all day and take forever. Should be on and off, quick, keep it clean. Um and that should be able to get all your guys the work that they need. So, um, you know, hopefully this helps you guys out. For those of you that asked about an infield outfield, also it was nice. It was um, good for me to see it. I've I've actually never filmed one of our IOs before, so it's good to see um, what one looks like. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, comment section below. Share this with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Appreciate that if you do that. Um, also, check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball. Check out uh, my Twitter feed, Man Antonelli 9, where we're posting videos every day. Um, also, check out the description box below, uh, where I put a bunch of books and some training tools that, um, you know, that I've either been reading or using um, right now or in the past that have really helped out our guys. I think you guys will find them useful. Um, and also, let me know. Uh, if you ever want to do any work, any lessons, anything like that, let me know. Check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com. You can shoot me an email on there. Other than that, that's all I got, fellas. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck to you this year, and we will talk to you later.